Hi! Welcome back to the second episode of Supersonic Self Love. Thanks for joining me again. Today we are going to be talking about the power of creating a magical daily routine. And that can be in the morning, at night, both, whatever works for you. And this is for everyone, whether you have five minutes or less or over an hour to dedicate to this type of self-care ritual, I am going to be giving you easy ways that you can start right now, today, tonight, this morning, whatever you're watching this, with links to resources. And I can't wait to see how this makes your life even better than it already is. This is truly a way to level up your life in a supersonic way. So before we jump truly into episode two, I want to talk to you about last week. So how did you do with your homework assignment from last week? Um, about learning about micro movements. We were talking about micro movements and that was your homework assignment. So did you end up incorporating them into your life? Did you find it easy or hard to make five minutes every single day this past week to dedicate to your goals? So I'm going to tell you that I personally, um, I messed up like a little bit. Like this whole month I have been tapping and meditating every single day and this past week like I tapped every single day and I have like a full streak of this whole entire month of tapping every single day but I messed up and didn't meditate two different days and that was like a huge like ah my streak's over and it was weird feeling but it's because I, I learned something about myself in the process because I've been tapping in the morning and meditating at night because meditating is more calming and I do it before sleep and it helps really knock me out and I realized that if I'm already sleepy sometimes I'll just fall asleep without meditating and that means that if I really want to make sure that I'm meditating every day that I need to reevaluate my schedule and my plan and my purpose so that means that I need to meditate earlier in the day and then if I want to also do a meditation at night to fall asleep then I can do that as well. So this is about learning too and it's also to say that if you didn't do your five minutes every single day then you're not a failure. This is all about learning. And I also want to say I'm so excited to see so many of you downloading the free worksheets from the micro movements video. There's two different worksheets. One helps you plan and one helps you keep your track track of your progress. I've actually moved the template into my journal. And this is my journal that I've been keeping track of all my micro movements. That's week one. That was week two coming over here. And then we're in the middle of week three right now because I haven't finished doing Sunday here. But I have been keeping track of everything and I've just been adding like little stickers and stuff to make it more fun. And you can do that too. If the worksheets don't work for you or you already have a notebook, all you need to do is just keep track of, I'm, keep, I'm doing the date, the goal, the time, and then just like extra notes. So. If I'm doing a tapping, I'll say what the tapping was on. If I'm reading, I say what page I got to or what book, you know, something like that. So you can do this too. I just wanted to show you how I've been keeping track of mine in this one of the many journals that I'm sure that we all have that we want to put a use towards. So yeah, I just wanted to check in with that. So I know the, the, the topic of this is magical daily routines and I know this is probably something that you've heard a lot about in the past year, maybe even two years, and it's something that I've already talked about on my blog, it's something I've already talked about on my Instagram, and you've probably heard it from self-love, self-help, every kind of person, like all over the place, and you might even be like, I'm tired of hearing about this, I don't want to hear about this, I don't have time in the morning, like I'm busy, like shut up, like I don't want to hear about your morning routine, stop. Okay, I hear you. <laughs> like. I want to know your hangups first. Like, I do want to know your hangups because I want to blast through them. Because there's a reason that so many people are doing this because it's successful. And the main thing that I hear is that you don't have time. So, we already talked about this. And you have time for what you make time for. We prioritize what we want to prioritize. And you. We'll make time for the things that you want to make time for. And I wanted to start you off 
uh, you know, with like, I feel like if I'm going to do a video series that is talking about how to like help you with your self love journey, we need to sh make sure that we're building a strong foundation. And there are only a few other things that I can think of that are a better way to start up a strong foundation for self love than creating a daily ritual of self care and self love things. So I did want to start you off last week with feeling motivated and strong and busting through those procrastination blocks. And remember, you can always go back to episode one and do that tapping uh, exercise. And that, that can be done over and over anytime that you're struggling with any of those issues. But I've also last week wanted you to start getting in the habit of doing something ritualistically, right? So that's where micro movements came in. And it was just five minutes or less a day. And that's all we're asking for these daily <laughs> magical morning nightly routines. It's only five minutes or less. I'm not asking you to do an hour and a half. I promise. I promise. So we're talking about a daily routine. It can be morning. It can be night. It can be both. It can be either. It's up to you. And remember, don't tell me you don't have time. You can wake up five minutes earlier to do one thing. You can. You can. I don't want to hear it. <sighs> doesn't need to be an hour long. It can be part of your micro movements concept. It can be five minutes or less. You can do it every morning and or every night for five minutes or less. And I have a ton of ideas for you for inspiration. Okay, we got this. You can't, it's just, it's just so important. You have to make time for self care because you have to take care of yourself. You'll, you'll be able to take care of the people that you love and yourself and the world better because you can't create a revolution when you are pouring from an empty, exhausted cup. Okay, so I told you I was gonna draw an affirmation card every week and I'm drawing from Sark, her deck of juicy living cards. And this is one of my favorite decks in the world. And this is the card. It says, a poet's nap hut dream house, sacred living healing spaces. Now, in Sark's book, the bodacious book of succulents, she talks about this magical house she had in a garden in the back of her house. And she would go there all the time and get all of her inspiration. And that's where she would do all of her writing. So like all the books that you might have read by Sark were written in this beautiful little garden house. And it was like kind of scary for some people. Like trees would be growing in through the wood and there were these parrots that would come visit and like these hordes and there were moths and spiders buzzing all around. And she just, but she felt so happy and at home in this place. And she would come there as often as she could to write. And on some days she would only be able to write a paragraph. But you know what? She wrote all her books that way one word, one paragraph, one page at a time, and they are all masterpieces, and they have inspired thousands and thousands of people to live their best lives, and we can do that too. So creating a daily routine is about carving out this succulent, delicious space where you are feeling yourself and feeling good, and it propels you into what's called the vortex. Now, the vortex is something that I'll talk about later on in more depth, but just to give you some context, if you're not familiar, it is a term coined by Abraham Hicks, and it basically just means that you're feeling it totally. Like you're in that state of flow that we talk about in psychology. You're in total alignment with your best, highest self and the universe. And you know who you are, you feel fabulous, and you are radiating out this amazingness to everything and everyone around you. It's pretty fantastic. So doing a daily routine is a surefire way to get you in the vortex. Most people say if you pick, like if you have to pick between a nightly and a morning routine, you should definitely pick the morning one because it sets you up for a great day. And I absolutely agree with that statement. Honestly, doing both is ideal, but anything is better than nothing. So if you can only do nightly, do nightly. Like seriously, anything is better than nothing. But if you can pick morning, please do morning. Um, so the idea is basically just to be mindful. like. Just the situation is like starting your day with this routine, right? Like it's before you touch your phone. It's before you scroll through social media. It's before you read the news. It's before caffeine, if you can manage it. 
It's being mindful and starting your day out with these good activities that boost your self-care reserves. So any adversity that might come and probably will come your way that day will like bounce off you much easier because those reserves are gonna come back up and help you fight because they're gonna help you react, not like with violence, but with reason and calm and perspective because you are like in the zone, in the vortex, in the flow. Now, like a really simple way, like you're thinking like, okay, like every morning I wake up, I touch my phone, I turn off the alarm, and then like I just like, I scroll, right? I know. So put the, put, just swipe it and turn the phone off and then no more phone. And then sit up in your bed and you can simply just start, open your arms, palms up, re receiving energy. Put your arms to the ceilings. Imagine the sun ups up in the sky and just say, I am grateful for this day. That's a simple, mindful way to start the day. There are also a ton of other things that you can add to your routine. I'm gonna give you some ideas right now. Draw an affirmation card from a deck, an oracle affirmation deck or a tarot deck. <coughs> You can also write down an affirmation or a mantra, whatever works for you. You can do it on a sticky note. You can write it over and over and over again in your journal. You can read a book. I just finished this one. This is amazing. Um, you can do it for a specified amount of minutes. If you only have five minutes, set a timer, start reading, immerse yourself, allow you to get totally involved because when that timer goes off, boop, bookmark in, go about your day. It's okay. Um, you can write three things you're grateful for. I have so many resources on gratitude and happy or gratitude journals. It's crazy. So look those up if you're needing to start a gratitude journal, but actually saying them out loud or making a physical list is a really good thing. And doing it for a specified amount of days. They just did like a study. I can't think of how, exactly how many days it is, but it's like proven uh, psychologically to boost your happiness. So that's a thing. Um, stretch or do yoga or walk or exercise something uh, drink 20 ounces of water like we I, I get so in the morning when I'm doing stuff I forget to drink so like just chug chug a bunch of water and like get ahead of the game with water you can do a guided meditation this is a really big deal meditating is so important and guided meditations take the guesswork out of it but you're still doing it there are so many five minute morning YouTube meditations. Type in five minute morning meditation on YouTube and see what comes up. There are so many, I am not kidding. No excuse. Same thing with tapping videos. Try Brad Yates. Type Brad Yates and any topic in the world that you need to work on, he's got a video for it and they're usually less than eight minutes long, usually around four to five minutes. Make a playlist, go through it. Um, masturbate or have sex if you have someone with you. Give yourself an orgasm, start the day off that way. That's amazing. Dance around to some music. Make yourself a special drink like in the morning. Like it could be coffee, it could be a special tea, it could be a crazy smoothie with like the juicer and all that stuff that I don't know how to do. <laughs> you can also just snuggle with like your pet or a stuffed animal or a friend or a lover. Um, water plants. That's really soothing and nourishing and nurturing. Um, you can also write down your biggest goal or intention for the day or just actually journal, do some journaling, set a timer again. When the timer goes up, shut the journal and you're good to go. Or just make something, create something, draw, doodle, paint, I don't know. There's so many different things that you can do. And I have an additional article for you to read on magical morning rituals, which includes some links to morning meditations, tapping videos, drink recipes, inspirational books that I recommend, affirmation decks that I recommend, journaling prompts, and you can find that link below. I'm also sharing a free downloadable PDF with 25 suggestions. It's just a super easy resource for you to like pull up on your phone. And these are just things that you can add to your magical morning ritual. Uh, these are the kind of fun PDFs that you can find in the Uncustomary Babes membership group if you are not a member. This 
is a really cool membership group. It's super cheap every single month and you get hundreds of resources. I want to talk more about that later. But if you're not a member, sign up today. The link is below. Okay, now if we are starting to talk about a nightly routine, if you're picking a nighttime routine, I also have a ton of ideas of generally how you can get better sleep. So there's things like keeping a sleep diary to track like what's going on like when are you anxious when are you sleeping more like how does your mood and other things your diet whatever affect your sleep setting the temperature cooler in your house is better to sleep than in super hot temperatures getting a white noise machine to drown up background noise putting a sheet over your tv so it's not radiating that like electric energy uh not using any screens at least an hour before bed giving yourself a cutoff for caffeine many hours before bed um in installing blackout curtains in your windows using lavender or chamomile essential oils in your oil diffuser for calming effects stuff like that uh but what about what to actually do for your bedtime routine like all of those kind of count but like what about actual like more tangible activities right so taking a warm shower or a bath like in the morning we want to take like cold showers to wake us up but at nighttime we want to do warm and if you have time for a bath that's amazing you want to also like if you're wearing any makeup or just getting the like using something to get the grime and dirt off um maybe applying some sort of night cream having a cup of sleepy time tea doing deep breathing exercises if you're into crystals amethyst clear quartz rose quartz and labradorite are like literally the and selenite are the only things that i let in my bedroom in terms of crystals and those are all good things to keep by your bed uh you can also put them under your pillow if they're like tumbled and you can also hold them while you're meditating or put them on your third eye while you're doing your breathing exercises <sighs> let's see put on comfy pajamas you know sometimes i will just like fall i'll just take my bra off and fall asleep in what i was wearing that day but like actually having this routine of putting on comfy pajamas is a routine it's part of self-care reading from your current book makes you sleepy sometimes rubbing lotion on your hands feet elbows wherever can make you feel really moisturized and fun nice to go to bed slide your legs into your sheets and all all lotioned up um doing the I don't, i'm always bad at pronouncing this but it's a yoga move it's called put your legs up the wall um the para viparidia i'm gonna butcher this viparidia viparidia karani literally just put your butt up against the wall and put your legs up the wall it's easy do it for like 10 minutes if you can five minutes if you can it's it's good look, just look into it um, you can spray your sheets with a linen spray. You can also listen to some ASMR. If you're not familiar with ASMR, there's a ton of YouTube videos and tough on, stuff on Spotify. It stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And it's basically like, there's a lot to go into to explain in this video, but it kind of creates, I have synesthesia and it kind of like recreates this feeling of like auditory mixed with like sense, like physical text, uh, touch, tactile, uh, synesthesia. So it's like mixing those feelings of like having a sound create a feeling on your body. And like a lot of people describe it as like tingles going down their spine in like a really nice, good way. So, um, there's a lot of stuff like I'm repelled by as much as I am excited by like, like Joe really likes, uh, the ASMR sounds of people getting haircuts. I hate those. I like people turning pages and whispering and stuff. So it's just all about finding stuff that you like. Um, but it like will knock me out if I am listening to the right ones. And yeah, I have an additional article for you to read on nighttime routines with 25 ways to get better sleep and 25 things to add to your nightly routine. And that includes my favorite ASMR video on YouTube. So check it out. She also has a, a Spotify channel with a ton of other, uh, I guess, tracks like a podcast. <laughs> I will tell you that I notice a huge shift in my energy, my mood, my perspective when I do these routines and also when I skip them. I cannot recommend carving out the space enough for yourself. Like it's so important. And 
We are making self-care a priority in this uncustomary universe in a supersonic way, and I am so glad that you are here for this journey. So your homework assignment for this week, episode two, is to decide whether a morning or nighttime routine best works for you, or both, and to start at least one thing, can be five minutes or less, very simple, that you do every day. Now, it, remember, it can be five minutes or less, and you have to try with all your might to do it every single day because it takes a couple of weeks to truly form a habit. So the more days you skip at the beginning, the easier it will be to kind of just drop this completely and be like, I'll do it later, but you might not. So I would really love to see pictures of you working on your morning routines or Instagram posts or vlogs of how it's making you feel. Please share with me. Uh, you can share on Instagram, or tag me at uncustomary love, use the hashtag uncustomary love. Uh, you know, remember if you're Instagram is private, I might not be able to see it, so send me a message. Um, another great place to share with me is over at the Uncustomary Babes membership group. And I have hundreds of resources for journaling prompts, positive affirmations, tapping videos, meditations, inspirational quotes, interactive worksheets, themed playlists, literally everything you need to create a morning or nightly routine. So like all of these resources are already at your fingertips. You don't have to do any work. They are right there. They are on Facebook. They are on Teachable. It does not matter if you use social media. I have them ready for you. They are organized. They are ready. So join today and you can get immediate access to all the resources online. And I can start writing your name on an envelope so I can send you your membership card in the mail with the 10 commandments of self-love on the back. Oh, and if you haven't purchased your self-love workbook, which is another great tool for your morning routine and also just self-love empowerment in general. There are literally only a couple of copies left of this in existence right now. So I only order these very infrequently. They don't exist that much. So buy yours SAP, S SAP, ASAP. It is a 30 day guide with journaling prompts and self love activities that will feel, leave you feeling, you can write right in it. Um, like full of self-esteem, confidence, and worth. Like check out the link below to get yours while supplies last. And there's a, some testimonials that like are very true. It, it's a really, really great resource. I've literally only ever gotten five stars on any one that has purchased this. Okay, so that's a wrap for episode two of Supersonic Self Love. Be sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any more future episodes of Supersonic Self Love, plus other fun videos that I post. You can also find me on Instagram at uncustomarylove. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you next week.